Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your reading. Scorpio, this is going to be a love reading, and for you, this is your reading, right? I usually just call them love readings, kind of, but for you and your person. But in this reading, this is yours, and over in the extended, it is uh, really about your person. So let's see, we kind of finish out the reading over there, and then we, like, right, get into their energy. But let's see what we have for you right now, Scorpio. The High Priestess, yeah, the psychic mediums of the world. Perception, you're seeing things clearly. Yeah, you are this princess looking uh, lady here is uh, looking right at, I feel like she's looking at a gem. She's looking at a giant crystal. Yes, she is. And the butterfly is in the back and the butterflies can speak of transformation. I feel like she is, you know, understanding what's on going on right in front of her. All right. And isolation. Wow. Somebody could be in isolation here. You see clearly on something, though. Okay, Scorpio, hopefully you are not isolating yourself. Wow. And next up we have vanity. Okay, so interestingly enough, vanity is showing up. Vanity, to me, is when somebody kind of, uh, they have a lot of, it could be somebody with ego. It could be somebody who tries to keep up with the Joneses. Maybe somebody has a lot of ego here. Yeah. I feel like you are seeing very clearly here, though, in a situation, which is kind of most important. Your energy right now, Scorpio, is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles is showing up, and he's always in your reading. Yeah, he is, at least in mine, uh, the ones I do. And the Four of Pentacles is here. And let's see what's in your environment. The Star card. So maybe there's some type of healing going on. I feel like there's trouble in paradise here, though, with these cards. Isolation and vanity. <coughs> So let's see why you're in the Knight of Swords energy. Why is that there for Scorpio? Excuse me, you guys. You're carrying a heavy load here, right here, Scorpio. Yeah, you could be trying to stop something with this Knight of Swords. He is. He's trying to, like, stop something. And it could be, you know, or maybe he's trying to, maybe he just has some restless energy. It is taking action, typically, the Knight of Swords. He has a sword. You could be wanting to cut something out. Mm -hmm. The Ten of... Cups is in the reverse, so we have two tens here right next to each other. These are typically uh, like completions. I feel like you're going through a breakup here. Maybe you're isolated from that person. This looks like a breakup here with the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. Why does Scorpio have the Knight of Pentacles? This is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The Hangman is showing up. This is Pisces. Can be or Piscean energy. You could feel really stuck about this person. You could be in a in a, in a, a situation with them, like a marriage, ten of pentacles, or where a relationship, a union, there where there is you know financial stability. When we see the ten of pentacles, why is that there? Wheel of fortune. You could feel stuck about a Sagittarian. And you could be concerned about your financial future. Ten of Swords. Wow. So we have like three. This is like an ending. This is definitely a breakup. Ten of Swords here. I feel like you feel really stuck here about an ending with an Earth sign or a possibly a Sagittarian. So far, maybe a Pisces. Aquarius is showing up down here, and uh, Gemini maybe, uh, and Libra with the Queen of Swords here. But those are the only signs so far. So let's get a card on the Four of Pentacles. Let's see. I feel like you are carrying a heavy weight because your person that you are leaving or breaking up with or ending, ending it with them, they're holding on to somebody here. Maybe it's a Sagittarian. The Wheel of Fortune is directly next to the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, look at you're you're really upset here. This person's holding on to somebody. This is worry. Wow, this is like a tough read so far. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. Yeah, your person's holding on to somebody that they, you know, that they're into, that they want. Yeah, that's that's how that is. And the Queen of Swords is in the recent past. Why is that there? Yeah, this is your burden, and this is your reading. So I can't even say that this is them crying over it. I doubt it. It's you, Scorpio, that is going through. Kind of this tower with this person. 
In the past, you could have been questioning whether or not they were going to make a choice. Here you are, the King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like in the past you were trying to figure out if they were going to make a choice between you and this person. The Lover's card. And here you are analyzing at Seven of Pentacles and in the Queen of Swords energy, which is more analyzing and questioning and sometimes challenging. Like, wow, is this person going to do this? Maybe you are challenging and questioning them. Wow. And what's on your mind is the Seven of Swords and the Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This is what's on your mind. I feel like this is, you know, crowning your thoughts. You're at a crossroads because they're being sneaky here. They're, they're, they have some plan to have a passionate new beginning with somebody. Ace of Wands. Yeah. Get a card on the Ace of Wands. It may not be complete, but this is what's crowning your thought. For me, it's actually clear. I'm not even going to put another card here. This is clear, crowning your thoughts. Your person is being sneaky here. And that's why in the past you were trying to figure out if they were make, choosing between you and someone else. Right now, you're worried here about them holding on to that person. Yeah, this reading is super clear. The Two of Swords is here, and this is in your near future. The Devil and the Knight of Cups. You don't know what to do about it. You're in bondage about it. And in your concerns would be the Six of Wands. You're concerned they're having victory. Like at your expense. The Tower, this could be you. But this is like you're in the Tower. Yeah. Three of Cups, about this third party. The reading couldn't be any more clear. And in, there, and in your environment, I beg your pardon, is the Star, Scorpio. Feel for you, Scorpio. Yeah, I do, because this reading is 100% uh, clear and challenging. Yeah, and it's a hard read. And in your environment is the Page of Swords and the Three of Wands and the Star. Yes, it could be an Aquarian here, but I feel like in your environment is like you already figured it out, Page of Swords. You already figured out here that this person is like that you either have to leave them or they're leaving you. Because they want to heal it with somebody else. So we're going to go over to Vimeo, you guys. And uh, the tell-all is there all about that person. I kind of want to see uh, even more of what they're up to, right? Because this reading was mostly your reading. And we're going to talk about your outcome here. What you really want, a Scorpio. Yes, we want to see what you want. What you want is important. It definitely is. And also the current dynamic between you and this person. How they feel about you. The challenges that you could be facing, I feel like you know about them. And maybe the challenges for them too, what you need to know about them, yeah, or what they're hiding and their desires. As I mentioned, they're all super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys need your own reading, it's always the best way, hands down, right? Thank you so much, guys.